Dear Google, I mean, yeah, that Pixel 4a looks promising, but why does it have to be so ugly? Because yeah, we have a bunch of new leaks of that Pixel 4a, which seem very close to a launch. It looks like we'll have to wait for more Microsoft dual displays due to other issues, and some sketches give us LG's new approach of what to expect for their upcoming smartphones. I'm Jaime Rivera, and one more time, thank you for staying at home. I know it's rough, it's been difficult, even for those of us that have been used to working this way for years, and still, guys, we're gonna get through this. I can assure you of that. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Once again, every single deal that we offer here are options that you can buy online for you to remain at home. For those of you that are looking for affordable products, probably one of the best deals right now is that standard basic 9.7 inch iPad. Currently, the Wi-Fi plus cellular variant is $129 off, and this is for the 32 gigabyte variant, which starts at 329, meaning you're pretty much paying the same money of the standard variant for the Wi-Fi plus cellular. The Samsung 55 inch Q LED frame TV is also $250 off, leaving it at $1,098 which is crazy inexpensive compared to its original retail price tag. And finally, we have some deals on JBL speakers like the Flip 5 for $30 off and more in the links in the description below. Now let's also move the spotlight over to companies and what they're doing at times of COVID-19 that are good right now. For example, let's begin with TikTok, which is pledging $375 million. The company is spending $250 million directly to medical workers, educators, and communities deeply affected by the crisis. The company is then donating hundred million in ad credits to SMBs so that they can recover from the financial setback caused by the outbreak. Finally, they're also giving NGOs 25 million worth in free ad space to keep people informed that we should all listen, repeat after me, stay at home. Let's all stay at home. Uh, you know, let's just get this over with because the longer we don't stay at home, the more we're going to have to stay at home in the end. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. You know, it's odd because, um, I was expecting more from this phone, and yet, if you ask most of us which phone is currently in our pocket now, it's it's the Z Flip. Apparently, the phone is actually not doing bad in sales, and according to a new report, we might be getting a 5G variant later this year. The phone will be targeted especially at people who didn't buy the first one due to the lack of 5G connectivity. However, we don't know if the special editions that are supposed to come out will bring 5G or not. We're also expecting a Galaxy Fold 2 in addition to a Note 20 this year, but Samsung claims that they are going to be strict with their regular calendar, as they claim that's not being affected by the pandemic. We do know that Korea was was really good about handling it and they're already out of this quarantine period. They already dealt with that, which means, yes, we can also do it. Think about it is, 5G, a reason not to buy that Z Flip? I think it's because it was sold out, like immediately. Uh, I don't think people really care enough about 5G right now for that to be a differentiating factor. Now let's move the spotlight over to LG. I don't think anybody would debate me over the fact that I feel that their designs have been uninspired for years. I think the last time that I really liked an LG phone was the LG G6 at its time, and then they just went completely bonkers. The company has just shared some new sketches of their future designs and what they would look like. The company isn't following the stove trend as it's going with a new raindrop approach where the main sensor is the bigger one and the rest follow in a descending order to simulate raindrops falling. The main sensor seems to have a small hump, while the other two seem to be flushed the glass. Then on the front, we see a very slim bezel with a no selfie camera. Overall, it looks very clean. Obviously, we're wondering if this is going to be for the G replacement. I don't know, LG. It's very hard to differentiate design these days, but I'm happy you're not following that stove design. Now, how about if we move over to Microsoft? The company has been doing well financially before, obviously, COVID-19. Uh, they were back at it, and uh, then they made an event that made us remember of the Steve Ballmer days, where we get an announcement today, and we get to wait for the product until a year from now. If you remember, that was the case for the Surface Neo and the Surface Duo. Well, apparently that's going to be a little longer. According to news sources, Microsoft won't have the Neo ready for the holidays this year due to the coronavirus outbreak. Another reason is that Windows 10X, which works on multiple displays, isn't ready. Microsoft is focusing on getting it to work right on one display in the meantime. We obviously don't have information on the Surface Duo just yet. We're hoping it happens, but then again, think about how niche this product is, how new Microsoft is to their own manufacturing and scale, 
and well yeah i know they've been manufacturing for years but i mean in scale in the scale where people actually want to buy their products which has been the case lately and yeah, I don't think anybody's going to have the money to buy that duo this year. So it might not be a bad idea, and hopefully they come up with something slimmer for next year. Think about it. But finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Google Pixel 4a. Um, I want to, yeah, fine. I called it the hottest because it's probably the most significant. Right now, we need affordable phones. We just had a full podcast that we did on Instagram Live, and it's also going to be on audio version over the weekend. And we discussed a lot about how much these phones are so timely at this time of the outbreak. And, uh, well, we have a bunch of information on that Pixel 4a, starting with the fact that the specifications are now leaked. It looks like it will pack a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730, a 5.81-inch OLED display, 6 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, 12 megapixel single camera at the back, and an 8 megapixel selfie shooter. We also got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a 3080 milliamp hour battery that supports 18 watt charging. A new leak also emerged on Facebook showing off the retail box that confirms that the device is coming soon. We did hear that the Excel variant is apparently being canned, but that one also emerged on eBay. The camera hump looks different to the one on the 4A, or to the 4 pretty much. So it could just be a prototype that got canceled. Thing about it is, let us know in the comments down below two things. One, do you care about the Pixel 4a? And two, do you agree with me that it's ugly that Google could do a better job? I, I come on guys, you inherited all of HTC's designers. How, like they came up with the 1M7, the 1M8, the touch diamond. How could it be that phones can look as good as they did back in the Nexus 5 days. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles uh, to see me play around while I stay at home. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.